we got the Mangler back on the program. Matt Bassetti is going to be taking on Steven Peterson at the Ultimate Fighter Season 27 finale on July 6th. Matt, what's going on, man? How you doing? I'm, I'm great, man. Thanks for having me. It's no great problem. to see you, as always. Yeah, it's great to see you as well, too, and uh, thanks for taking the time on a Saturday afternoon. And uh, I know uh, we, we, last time we talked was obviously before your UFC debut, and I know uh, things didn't go your way in that one, but how was that experience just getting to fight close to home in your UFC debut? It was awesome. Um, it's it's hard to explain with words. It's just like the culmination of day after day after day of just hard, hard, you know, work. It's it without you can't really explain it. It's like right. holy shit! I finally did what I set out to do, and it's just like your dream became a reality. And it's like now I can focus on just fighting, and right. it's. I don't have to worry anymore. Like there is nowhere else I can go up. I can't. I'm already at the top. So now it's just focus, get better, and win. And I'm glad you kind of talked about that too, because I know uh, I saw on Facebook you were you had a really good post uh, towards Chris Curtis, who uh, you know had a great fight this past week, but unfortunately did not get a UFC contract. And I got to know, did you were you able to twist his arm as all, at all? Because Chris should be in the UFC, and, and I'm hoping the UFC reconsiders their decision. Yeah, I don't know if I was. I don't know. Um, he, he was liking comments loving comments when I was saying stuff that you know could hopefully sway him one way or the other but um, you know what it's it's so fresh in his mind right now that he's yeah. going to be done that it's almost like it's kind of pointless just you know feed him a little bit of positivity here and there and then give him some time you know what I mean like uh, anytime you get into an argument with somebody if you try to fix it right away and it's they're not, not happen, in the mood yeah. to fix it it's just not going to work you know you get an argument with your wife, significant other. I was just going to say, that's key marriage advice right, right there. <laughs> you got to walk away a little bit and then come back, you know? So yeah. I kind of just, I kind of fed Chris, like, uh, some positivity and, like, you know, just I'm going to walk away. I'll come back in a little while, maybe after I fight and, you know, and uh, maybe he's better to receive that kind of positivity and, and maybe it changes his mind a little bit. I don't know. Speaking of positivity, uh, what were some of the positives you took out of your debut? I know things didn't go your way, but what do you sort of take into this fight that you learned from your debut? Uh, well, I, I took a lot. Um, uh, that being said, there was stuff that I was – I've always been getting a little bit better, a little bit better in between fights. Um, but you know, there was stuff that I didn't have to focus on because of the level of talent that I was fighting and because what I was doing was working all the time. So I'd, I'd be constantly getting – if I was good at something, I'd be constantly getting better at it. If I wasn't very good at something, I would get a little better at it. But I would never s specifically focus on one thing as much as I have for this last fight. I've, uh, for the first time in my entire 10-year career, I've gone to a boxing gym. Um, and I've gone there a lot. And I've sparred with not amateur boxers. You know, not amateur boxers. Like high-level pro boxers. Uh, Myquan Williams and Matt Remillard are two outstanding pro boxers. Um, Mike Juan is, I think he's 11 and 0 now, um, coming off like a, a minute long knockout of a guy who, who has a phenomenal record. Um, and Matt Remillard is, you know, has long been one of the best guys in the world. Uh, so like if, if you don't know those names, you know, look them up, they're, they're studs. Um, but you know, my boxing in the short time from February 1st until now that I've been there has gotten a whole lot better and I owe it a lot to like those guys and my coach for saying, hey, this is what you're going to do. Do it. I'm like, okay. So we're going to go there and get my boxing better. Good. Uh, the other thing is I spent um, four, four months, five months straight, two, three times a week just, just wrestling with college-level wrestlers, uh, really, like, really focused on just the wrestling, not wrestling with submissions, not wrestling with punches, not anything, just wrestling. Um, and it, it cleaned up my wrestling a lot. Um, I've always had decent wrestling, but it made my, uh, made me feel like a wrestler, you know, and that changes things. I feel like a boxer right now and I feel like a wrestler, um, you know, and, uh, we got a lot better. That's great. Now let's talk about your opponent here, Steven Peterson. Uh, he's got a 16 and seven record also on the contender series. Uh, how do you feel like you match up against him? I feel like I match up well against anybody, uh, but um, Steven is, from one fight to another, he's, he's very similar. Um, even if he switches a couple things up here and there, like his style is just like chin down, hands up, come straight forward and try to punch you harder than you punch him. You know what I mean? Um, he's, he's got a, looks like he's got a hard head. Looks like he can take a shot, which is cool. Um, 
but you know, it's it's always like his, his style, his everything is just kind of straightforward. So um, I know how to game plan for a guy like that. I fought many guys like that. I always do pretty well. So you know, it's just about uh, you know stick to the game plan, do what I do best, and you know get my hand raised in the end. How about the weight cut? How's that going? Uh, a couple weeks up from the fight, that process I imagine has already started. I'm actually two pounds less right now oh, wow. than I was when I got the call to fight on a week's notice. So I'm good. All right. You know, I cut good. that I cut that weight last time in uh, five days, six days, whatever it was before weigh-ins. Um, and uh, that was the most I've had to cut in that amount of time. So, um, you know, I, I have 20 days right now or 19 days to make the weight and I'm two pounds less. So I'm, I'll be fine. And who's going to be in your corner for this fight? Uh, same people. Um, my head coach, striking coach, a uh, longtime friend, Russell Leak. Um, my uh, one of my best friends, uh, Jeff Haddad, who also owns Ascension Athletics with me. And again, one of my best friends, Drew Cathers. Drew is um, he's a a doctor um, out of out of the the state now. I, I haven't seen him in a while, but I only get to see him when I when I fight in Florida or when I get married or some kind of you know, <laughs> right, thing like that. Yeah. But um, he's a good friend of mine, and uh, he's just one of those guys that, like, he can he can kind of, like, feed me information here and there, but more or less, like, when I see his face, I feel comfortable, you know. He's one of those comfort corners. Excellent. And uh, how do you see this fight playing out on July 6th? I'm getting my hand raised, man. I'm getting that, my that, fucking hand raised. Yeah, look at my eyes. Um, look at me. Zoom in yeah. real quick. <laughs> I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Very intense. It, it's been a long time coming. I mean, you know, like I said, you, you have the debut. Now you've got a full camp. Like, this is really, we're going to get to see, you know, even for both of you, it's going to be a really good uh, test, I think, for both. And, and fight of the night, for sure. It's at least going to be a candidate, I imagine. Absolutely, man. I, I, uh, I'm hoping to get 50,000, whether it's, um, whether it's a, you know, a spectacular performance on my part or we both go at it for three rounds or whatever. Uh, I'm 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 leaving with a good paycheck in a couple of weeks, few weeks rather. Leaving with a good paycheck and uh, hopefully, you know, it, we can ex- extend my contract even longer. Is this yeah? Do you do you, how many fights do you have in your contract? It's a three fight deal, but like oh, okay. a UFC three fight deals are, we're gonna give you one fight, but no more than three. You know, yeah. up to three, no more than three. So at any point, if you look like junk in your first fight, they could be like, all right, you're cut. You yeah, know? that's true. Yeah. So, and if you look like junk in your second fight, like, all right, you cut. Um, so they can they can cut you at any time, you know. Well, uh, what about uh, downtime right now? Are you watching any Netflix, any TV, or anything like that, getting you through training camp? Um, actually, we just moved. I know you saw that, right? Yeah. We just moved, so like, uh, took a like a week to get Wi-Fi. So we haven't been watching Netflix much, but we uh, we just got Netflix. Uh, two days ago or the wi-fi hooked up two days ago and we watched netflix i watched uh ragnarok for like the 10th time okay. thor movie that's a great movie yeah hysterical the rock guy the the guy made of rocks yeah you know, oh yeah oh, okay about? yeah yeah i know what you're talking about yeah he's yeah. wicked funny yeah, yeah. No, that's a good movie um but I, i'm not watching any shows right now my wife's always watching Grey's anatomy that's her right thing. so is mine that's when i have to leave the room so yeah she's like you want to watch Grey's anatomy with me i'm like yeah sure Don't- yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'm on my phone or something, checking uh, checking Twitter or something like that. No, I, I hear you on that. Uh, well, Matt, this is going to be an awesome fight. It's uh, the Ultimate Fighter 27 finale coming up here July 6th. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media, and if you got any sponsors or shout-outs, the floor is yours, sir. Bangalore UFC in the three big social medias. Um, also, you can find me on uh, um, Matt the Mangler Bissette on Facebook. Uh, Matt Bissette, if there's any room on my friends list there. Um, you know, I just, I just want to thank the, the same people that are there for me all the time. Um, you know, family, friends, I would not be here. Was it almost 11 years into my career? That's nuts. I, I took one fight in September 2007 and I was like, I need some more of this. This is awesome. <laughs> so, you know, it just kind of one thing after another and look where here we are, you know, fight number 31. And, uh, I'm just, I feel like I'm just getting started. So you know, I, I wouldn't be able to stay at it without the positivity and the friendships, uh, you know, the closeness, um, the training. Um, it's just in a crazy, excellent environment at the gym. My house is always positive. So, you know, I just, I thank the, all the people that are still in my life that have been there since day one and uh, look where we're at, man. 
What's up, Fight Fans? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to see even more interviews with your favorite UFC and Bellator fighters. We've also got coverage at events, including post-fight press conferences and media scrums. And if you like this video, check out the video to my right. It's worth your time.